Hey traders, John Fortune here of this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 4th of February to the 8th of February 2019. As always, we're going to start off by looking at the US dollar index and oil. We're then going to run through a number of markets, looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. I'm also going to be highlighting some of the targets that we're going to be looking for in the coming week and also for the week's head. So let's jump over to the charts and see what the money is this week. As always, starting with the US dollar index. Now, we start the week below the key area of broken support, looking to potentially turn resistance at 96.05. We had this decline to the downside. Jerome Powell, the Fed chair last week, came out, struck more of a dovish tone, put the word patient in the rate statement last week, and we saw this uh, pushing the US dollar index to the downside. Going into this week, you can see we're already starting to correct. What we would like to see is a continued correction in the dollar index, preferably if we could come all the way back and retest broken support, turning resistance at the 96.05, because this would give uh, a much greater potential move to the downside in terms of risk to reward when we start to look at the pairs. And if we can get this pullback and preferably retest the 96.05, this is going to be the preferable place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at further declines down towards the next key of support to the downside in the target set at the 94.40. So as we're looking further declines and we start the week down below the 96.05, we are going into this week with a bearish bias on the US dollar. So next market we're going to look at is crude oil. Now we start the week above a key area of broken resistance from the past, looking to turn support at the 53.96. Now we are technically structured to the upside, however, and we'll touch more on this in more depth uh, on Monday with TFT members, but we do have an ongoing situation in Venezuela, which is likely to restrict the output of oil. And as a result of a restriction in the supply of oil, we should actually see fundamentally, at least in the near term, uh, while this is ongoing in Venezuela, this should actually uh, provide a fundamental driver pushing oil to the upside. So we do have technicals falling in line with the fundamentals. What we'd like to see going into next week, if we can get a pullback and We'd like to see a pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support at the 53.96. If we get this kind of price action, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. We're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key of resistance to the upside in the target set at the 57.89. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key of resistance to the upside in target two, the 59.31. So the first pair we're going to look at is Euro dollar. Now, last week we did bounce down from the 1.1390 and we did push to the upside, although we didn't move a huge amount in the dollar pairs last week, despite the amount of data we had, such as the Fed uh, decision and also the non-farm payroll data. So going into this week, we are looking further advances in the Euro dollar. We've already started to pull back from the highs. If we can get another pullback and preferably if we can get a retest of broken resistance turning support at the 1.14150, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key of resistance to the upside in the target set at the 1.1567. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards target two in the next key of resistance to the upside at the 1.1615. So the next we're going to look at is pound dollar. Now, we didn't really move very much in the pound dollar last week. We do have an interest rate decision out of the UK this Thursday, and this is probably why we didn't see much coming out of the pound last week or much money going into the pound. We are starting the week, very simply put, above key area of broken resistance from the past, looking to turn support at the 1.29960. If we can continue to get this pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support, at the 1.29960. This is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key of resistance, the upside in the target set, the 1.3298. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key of resistance, the upside in target two, the 1.3450. So next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar Japanese yen. Now we start the week above a key area of broken resistance from the past, looking to turn support at the 109.07. We are between the two ranges that we outlined last week of the 109.07 and the 110.14. Yes, we do have a bearish bias on the US dollar going into this week. And the question I get asked very often is, well, if you have a bearish bias on the US dollar, how comes you're looking for the US dollar yen to the upside? 
The answer is because we are not trading the dollar on its own here, we are trading the dollar against Japanese yen. And if the yen is weaker than the dollar, even if the dollar is weak, we should be seeing moves to the upside. So I am looking for this to continue to correct next week as we have a weak dollar paired against a weaker yen. If we can get a pullback and a retest of broken resistance in this case, turning support at 109.07, this is an area I'd start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And I'm going to be looking at potentially initiating longs up towards the next key air resistance to the upside in the target set, the 110.14. And if we can get a break through here, I'm going to be looking up towards the next key air resistance to the upside in the target two, the 110.81. Just bear in mind, because of the weakness of the dollar and because of this is two weak currencies paired against each other next week, this may be an opportunity which is not as desirable as some of the others. However, this is how we're viewing the US dollar yen going into next week in terms of probabilities. So next pair we're going to look at is Aussie dollar. Now we start the week above a key area of broken resistance from the past, looking to turn support at the 0 0.71840. If we can get a continued correction here, and if we can get a pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support at the 0 0.71840, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area of resistance to the upside in the target set. 0 0.7344 and if we can get a break through here we're going to be looking up towards the next key air resistance to the upside and target two at the 0 0.7393 so the next pair we're going to look at is new zealand dollar now we start the week above a key area of broken resistance from the past looking to turn support at 0 0.68460 if we can get a pullback and preferably if we can get a pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support at the 0 0.68460, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key air resistance to the upside in the target set, the 0 0.6977. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key air resistance to the upside in target two, the 0 0.7022. So next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar Swiss franc. Now you can see that we did come up and take out the target from last week and we had this big sell off to the downside. We are still structured overall to the upside in the US dollar franc. We start the week above the key broken resistance looking to turn support at 0 0.98760. If we are going to get dollar weakness next week, the initial move we'd be looking at is continued correction down into the 0 0.98760. And if we can get this kind of a pullback, and again, it may just be next week if we have the dollar weakness that this is all we get next week. But once we come down to the 98760, this is where we're going to start to see if we can get a reversal in the US dollar franc. This is a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at potentially initiating longs up towards the next key air resistance to the upside in the target set, the 1.0068. So as I say, it may be if we get dollar weakness next week that we just get this correction into the 98760 and it may be that the week after we start to get a reversal and a move back up to the next key air resistance and the target up here, the 1.0068. So next pair we're going to look at is US dollar CAD. Now we start the week below a key area of broken support from the past, looking to turn resistance to the 1.32160. What we'd like to see going into next week, if we can start to get a correction and preferably if we can get a pullback and a retest of broken support turning resistance, as this would give us the best risk to reward, this would be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key of support to the downside in the target set at the 1.2957. Uh, last but not least, we have gold. Now, we start the week above a key area of broken resistance from the past, looking to turn support at the 1303.09. If we can get a continued correction going into next week, and preferably if we can correct and pull back and retest broken resistance turning support at the 1303.09, this is going to be the preferable place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. We're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key air resistance to the upside in the target set at the 1335.00. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key air resistance to the upside in the target two at the 1357.50. So that is it from me for this week, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing, and subscribing. A big thank you to everybody who does that on a regular basis. And a big thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel so far. And also a big thank you to everybody who comments on the channel as well.
I want to wish you all a nice weekend and I hope you all have a profitable week next week. The only thing left for me to say, guys, is take care and don't forget to trade safely.